Hello students, welcome back. Today's video is the last one on the lesson Interdependence in Living Beings. In today's session, we are going to study about balance in nature. Now, it is very important to maintain the balance between the number of plants and animals in the ecosystem. I'll tell you why. Do you know what will happen if there is a sudden increase in the number of animals in the ecosystem? Well, if the number of animals suddenly increase, the food and oxygen which is supplied by the plants will not be sufficient for these animals if they suddenly increase. Similarly, if there is a sudden decrease in the number of animals, what will happen is carbon dioxide which is supplied by the animals for the process of photosynthesis in plants will not be sufficient. Therefore, we must protect both plants and animals. But it so happens sometimes that there are some causes that bring about an imbalance in this number of plants and animals. So let us see what are the causes of imbalance in nature. Ca causes of imbalance in the number of plants and animals in nature. Now the causes of imbalance are of two types. Some are natural and some are man-made. Now, the natural causes, uh, in these causes, man does not play any part. They are not in our control. And the natural causes are volcanic eruptions, floods, cyclones, droughts and tsunamis. Now, these are not under our control. These are natural disasters. Some are man-made. Now these man-made causes also bring about an imbalance in the number of plants and animals. Now some of them are deforestation, forest fires, pollution, overhunting of a species and introduction of a new species. Now let us see first what are the natural causes. Now here we have the natural causes. You can see you can see the volcano, tsunami, floods, this is also floods, cyclones and drought. Now these are the natural causes that bring about imbalance in the ecosystem or in the environment. Now what happens during a volcano? You know what is a volcano? What happens during the volcano? There is a lot of smoke, there is a lot of lava that is thrown out from the, from the volcano and this causes a lot of destruction. It, there is a lot of pollution can you see the smoke? There is hot lava that keeps flowing down that burns everything that comes in its way. Then tsunami. Tsunami is a huge wave that can destroy, drown animals. Is that clear? Floods. Floods are caused when there is very heavy rain. Can you see the water? Can you see these animals? In the flood water so most of them get drowned what happens during a cyclone during a cyclone there are trees that get uprooted what is a drought a drought is when there is no rain for a long time see the soil see how there are cracks on the soil due to scarcity of water or due due to no rain. 
all these cause an imbalance in the number of plants and animals. Now let us take a look at the man-made causes of imbalance. Forest fires, deforestation, overhunting and introduction of an invasive or a new species. Now what are forest fires? These are fires that burn up, can burn up a full forest. Now what happens sometimes is when these campers and all, they do not put off the fire completely, a forest can catch fire. Forest fires are also caused due to lightning. Now over here it comes, we put it under man-made because sometimes even a cigarette bud that is not put off completely can cause a forest fire. And what does it lead to? Burning of the forest where animals lose their habitat. Deforestation. What is deforestation? Cutting down of trees. Here again, what happens is the animals lose their shelter. Over hunting of a particular species can bring that species close to extinction. Introducing an invasive species. An invasive species of plants is a plant that takes over the whole area. Sometimes it does not let any other plant grow. Then here is an example of uh, the grey squirrel, the American beaver and the cane toad which are species that were introduced but then what happened is they took, they multiplied in a very big way. Is that clear? So all this brings about an imbalance in nature. So children with this video I finish this lesson on interdependence in living beings. Thank you.